Ever found yourself accidentally posting something you didn't mean to? Ever ended up in the community support forum of an app seeking answers, only to find the other users are just as lost as you are? Ever been driven into a state of frenzy by music that started playing when you entered a site because you have no idea where it's coming from or how to make it stop? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you've most likely been a victim of bad UX. Now we gather some of the bad classic UX fails. We're all familiar with the following scenario. You're drafting a personal message to send to a close friend on WhatsApp, and you accidentally send it to someone else, perhaps a work contact, or someone you don't know very well. Thanks to WhatsApp's Delete for Everyone feature, you can delete it and pretend like it never happened. Actually, scratch that last part is what instead happens when you delete your message. Informing the recipient that the sender has deleted a message somewhat defeats the purpose of deleting it in the first place. In fact, this looks way more suspicious and is likely to prompt an awkward why did you delete the message? During those priceless, time-sensitive moments that deserve to be captured on camera, so that they can be cherished forevermore, like your child walking for the first time, or spotting your favorite celebrity in your local coffee shop, there's nothing worse than being confronted with this message. There's no indication of what the user's options are here. There should be a clear sense of just how many pictures need to be deleted in order to take a new picture in that moment, or just how much storage needs to be cleared. At some point, we've all had to pick our nationality from a seemingly infinite drop-down and no search bar in sight. There's an added layer of inconvenience if you're from somewhere like the UK that has multiple names, United Kingdom Britain Great Britain, and you find yourself scrolling through an endless sea of countries just to find yours. Long drop-downs with no subheadings or filters are hugely time-consuming for users, especially those who are unsure of what they are looking for. Many modern websites use modals to interrupt the user and get their attention. Trying to push users to take an action just because they have no other option is one of the dark patterns used in dark UX design. Imagine that you're in the middle of doing something important, like a financial audit, and then a modal pop-up. Although the system of the product you're using thinks this is really important right now, you've got other priorities. So you look for the cross button to quit the modal, only to find that it's not there. Apple's Magic Mouse 2 is already a poor performing mouse but what makes it even worse, is how it's charged. To charge it you must turn it upside down and plug in the cable as shown above, meaning it cannot be used while it's being topped up. Apple is yet to fix its so-called Magic Mouse. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more video like this.